We got a 70s theme in this week's episode. I loved every minute of it, especially that cliffhanger. Issue yourself a spoiler warning as we get caught up in the details and decode Only Murders in the Building, Episode 5, The Tell. It opens with William Putnam doing some crafts for our science fair project with his son, and we're just going to rip off that band-aid. Demas took a dip in Roberta. That's right. It seems like it's very likely that William is not Oliver's son. I think Oliver is going to take this a lot harder than William, and I don't even think Will is going that way. I think he's just assuming that his father is unsure of his lineage and not that he could be someone else's father, let alone Teddy Demas out of all the people that his father would know. It just hasn't occurred to him yet. But Oliver, this is going to destroy him. He can't look at Dips the same way or his son. And he's going to be thinking, this is why my son isn't as good in the theater and arts and producing as I am. Because we've seen that he's had such an issue with it. I'm thinking as we'll have other things that he's good at that he just hasn't really tried to do. He's probably more of an entrepreneur than his father or the guy who thinks he's his father. I think that Teddy will be confronted and that he's going to admit to having an affair with Roberta and he definitely feels like he screwed up things with his son Theo so I'm thinking that he may want to try to update or try and rectify some of that with Will and I don't think Will's really going to be having it it's no secret that I'm giving away $50 on Only Murders in the Building official merchandise. I just got my mug, and I love it. You see that? I even got my name on the back of it, so no one can say that it's theirs. There's no mystery of who's this belonged to. I'll tell you how to enter at the end of the video. My family has been all over this season, and they doubled down with the derailment of what was thought to be Oliver's family tree. The idea of lost or unknown lineages will definitely come into play later. Someone is clearly, in my opinion, a descendant of Rose Cooper and or Lenora Folger, who of course could possibly be the same person. Back in the 70s, we see Oliver entertaining guests with a game called Son of Sam. I couldn't find a game just like this, but there are many other bluffing games similar called secret codes and mafia mafia is one that i enjoy playing a whole whole lot charles meets with jan and she suggests that they're looking for an artist as the killer compose the scene artists come in many forms of course alice is an artist but so is amy schumer and of course howard with his yodel shop quartet and just as i suspected charles still has feelings for jan and he justifies it by getting insight to who the killer might be he even lays in bed talking to her on the phone i've done this with people that i care about and it is adorable it would be adorable if she wasn't a serial killer he even sends her blueberry bagels and if that's not love i don't know what love is Mabel walks through the arc catacombs and finds a passage that leads to the floor in her bedroom. Now this makes me believe that the person in the trailer we saw fleeing into her room is actually the killer fleeing into the arc catacombs. Now this may be a flashback or it could be just a moment happening later on the season. When she steps into her room, she sees a matchbook to the pickle diner, and it has a little stain of blood or ketchup on it. We're not really sure. While at the pickle diner, unbeknownst to them, the Arconiacs are there listening in on their conversations, and Marv strangely says that he works in the Arconia, or does jobs there removing mold, and he knew about the hidden passageways. I thought it was very weird that he never mentioned this at any point before this, like even during the first season, like, hey, you don't know who killed Tim, how they might have done it. I don't know. Maybe these secret passageways that I know about that you guys, it might help you to figure this out. It's very strange. 
it could be a retcon for this season i'm not sure but i thought it was also very interesting that he had a very large uh mask ventilator mask on the table next to him i guess just to justify that he does do this but remember he said that he distrusts women in power and he thought bunny was the killer in the first season and it even shows him stabbing uh are those blueberries on his plate stabbing them to eat them i don't know if that may be some subtle hint possibly maybe where i'm just looking at things too much in order to figure out if alice is lying oliver decides to bring in the game son of sam now i'm a big fan of social deduction games like i mentioned before and the thing that often happens is that the guilty are quick to jump on a bag wagon to accuse someone else just as alice does in this scene she raises her hand to quickly say yes charles is guilty they break into a very cool retro 70s look the outfits here the wigs everything is beautiful it gives me life i love it i think that this whole scene was akin to the stage play antics of last season and i was wondering when they were going to do something similar it makes me wonder what they will come up with the next season i'm hoping that they do a whole dark noir crime like a Maltese Falcon type of thing going on that would make me the happiest person in the building and also similar to the slow-mo scene with the falling and the omelet and the ring I think that's where the scene most likely next week because the title is flipping the pieces it's referring to the puzzle pieces that we see with Mabel. It looks like they're all floating in the air, things like that. So I'm guessing next episode is where we're going to see the trio take a trip. Because uh, we do see them in Oliver's car, Aphrodite, in the trailer. And that is where we're going to get those scenes, I hope. Also, I have to give it out to the actor that played a young Oliver. He did amazing. It's one thing to get the mannerisms and try and match that energy but to get the voice and embody him so much grade a acting and the magic just elevated it even more the game leads to alice admitting that she has lied about who she is not just to mabel but to everyone after leaving england and coming to america she justifies it by saying that she needed to make herself seem more important more exciting in order for anyone to care about her and her art mabel forgives her way too easily in my opinion i mean yes they are making it clear that she could be the killer but she's definitely not innocent oliver turns to the pickle after seeing him slip the envelope of money under bunny's door now, there was a little wonkiness about whose door this was slipped under it looked like it was across it looked like it was the mysterious man's apartment building but i'm just gonna give that up to production while at the pickle they look at a video of a person that bunny was arguing with the day before she died now for some reason they only looked at the portion of the video of the person of the person from behind not when they were walking up to the seat uh, we see Bunny uh, arguing with them, and it is as grainy as possible. It looks like it was filmed with a potato, and we see the person arguing, Bunny shooing them, like saying, just stop. Uh, it, I couldn't tell what she was saying, so for a moment, I thought it might have been Theo, but uh, I did not see any particular hand motions that was uh, ASL, even though I don't know any ASL. She just did the same movement over and over. That might mean something along the lines of leave me alone or get away. I don't know, but I don't think it's Theo. I also don't think who most people think it is. They think that it's Mark the Magician, a musician. Sorry, he plays music. I don't think it's him at all. I'm still saying that it's Jared, Nina Lynn's partner, that's why I think it is uh, only because I don't see any reason for Mark the Magician, a musician, to be arguing with Bunny about anything. We we did not get any idea that they have any reason to interact other than in passing. I would think that Bunny would say something to him, uh, uh, say something to Nina about that when they were talking about him 
Also the same with Marv. Could that have been Marv? I think that Bunny would have said something to Nina at that point in time if there was something there. You know what I'm saying? Though, why wouldn't she say anything about Nina's husband? She doesn't want to complicate things. She trusts Nina. There's no need to bring in her partner and things that he wants because he, she believes Nina at that point will do what she says she's going to do. And that means uh, keep the integrity of the Arconia. That brings us back to the end of the episode with Oliver and his son, Will. I feel really, really bad for Oliver. Uh, this is going to be devastating. And I don't know what he's going to do. He's he's literally lost one of the few things that he cares about. He, he has no blood son, no one to carry on the five generations of Putnam's in in theater so it's gonna be a very hard time for him we've gotten a lot of sad moments from people this season bunny lucy charles oliver i think mabel's is still coming and that might happen uh next episode we think we still haven't even seen them go to coney island there's quite a few shots that we don't know what's going to happen yet and it's going to be very very sad we got a lot going on here this season. Dismembered appendices. If Teddy did think that he was Will's father, this could be why he always supported Oliver's endeavors, even when they weren't good and could be part of the reason why it stopped, likely around the time when Will and his mother left. As the New York killer, the son of Sam, appears prominently in this episode, I would be remiss if I did not mention that Son of Sam was in the military and Mark the Musician claims to be in the military even though he was only there with a band. As things become clearer in Mabel's mind, we will find out what Bunny said as her last words. Now we found out this week that she may not have said savage, but passage, which makes a lot of sense maybe she did not say 14 passage a savage maybe she said unseen passage instead of 14 savage i know some people think i'm crazy sticking with jared even though we only saw one small clip of him through a grate in the wall as a killer not only am i sticking with him for now i'm sticking with him to the end of the series that's right i'm saying it now halfway point jared is the killer and i'm not gonna budge unless there is some irrefutable evidence that says he cannot be that person if that doesn't happen i'm sticking with them to the very end the alice of it all there's definitely something strange going on with alice and i think that she is more likely tied to the painting what doesn't make sense to me that there seems to be two different things going on that happened in the building that both involve bunny one someone killing her two someone wanting a painting it even looks as if we see two different people working now this makes two options here which does not make sense either way one two people working together with two different things they wanted one wanted power one way or another or to get rid of bunny because of that and one wanted the painting i don't think that the person who wanted the painting would have killed her for it that seems way too much that was a personal painting to them because of this whole family lineage thing so either there are two people working together who want separate things no or two people working separately who just happened to be working and did their thing the same night just by happenstance which is crazy but what i think is going to end up happening here in tv land i rewatched episode four who am i kidding 
I rewatched all of the episodes, but when rewatching episode four to see if I could find any other references to Macbeth, I noticed that it showed stage hands holding trees moving across stage. I thought that was pretty interesting, and I just wanted to share that little tidbit. Those were all the clues and things I was able to find in this week's episode of Only Murders in the Building. Don't forget, we're giving away $50 in Only Murders in the Building merchandise. I love this shirt. You guys see the shirt? Oh, it's not backwards when I upload this. I got to remember to flip it around. But all you got to do is be a subscriber, like, and comment on the video. Anything. How hard did that ending hit you? Did you see that coming? Are you hoping that Oliver just doesn't know that he's Greek? Anything you want, and you will be entered in at the end of the season. A lucky winner will be chosen at random to receive the presents. Either way, thank you guys for watching. My name is Dallas, and I'll see you guys on the rooftop.